वेलकम टू डिफेंस न्यूज प्लस नेशनल सिक्योरिटी एडवाइजर अजित डोभाल कमिशन वन हंड्रेड एंड फाइव मीटर ऑफ शोर पेट्रोल वेसल्स द इंडियन कोस्ट गार्ड शिप सजा ऑन सैटरडे Sajak means vigilant is a protection of Indian coast guards will and commitment ready relevant and responsive towards the maritime interest of the nation Indian coast guard said the ship displaces approximately 2350 tons and is propelled by two 9100 kilowatt diesel engines to attain maximum speed of 26 knots She has an endurance of 6000 nautical mile at an economical speed the sustenance and reach coupled with the latest and modern equipment and system provides her the capability to perform the role of a command platform and undertake task to fulfill the coast guard charter goa shipyard limited has built the state of the art ship indigenously and the ship features advanced technology navigation and communication equipment sensors and machinery and equipped with an integrated bridge systems integrated platform management systems power management systems and high power external fire fighting systems The ship is armed with a 40 by 60 Bofors gun and two 12.6 mm SRCG guns with FCS. The Indian Coast Guard ship Can carry one twin engine helicopter and four high speed boats including two inflatable boats for boarding operations, search and rescue, law enforcement and maritime patrol. The ship is also capable of carrying pollution response equipment to contain oil spills at sea. Deputy Inspector General Sanjay Negi will command ICGS Sajak and 12 officers and 99 men crew will be on board the indian coast guard has a fleet of 157 ships and 62 aircraft further 34 surface platforms are at various stages of construction at different indian shipyards and 16 advanced light helicopters are under production at hell The commissioning of ICGS Sajak will increase the Indian Coast Guard's operational capability to the maritime protection of our vast coastline of the western seaboard. Next update the wife of Major Bibhuti Shankar Dhandial who martyred in Pulwama Nikita Kol officially joined the army on Saturday Lieutenant General YK Joshi piped stars on her shoulder at a ceremony held at the officers training academy in Chennai Tamil Nadu Army Major Bibhuti Shankar Dhandial laid down his life in the February 2019 fighting with Jaish e Mohammed terrorist in Pulwama in Jammu and Kashmir she joined the army as lieutenant nikita kol dindoyal major dindoyal was awarded surya chakra for his supreme sacrifice for the nation nikita cleared the short service commission exam 6 months after the death of her husband and the services selection board interview and was commissioned as officers training academy at chennai for her training nikita kol said i am really proud we all love you The way you love everyone is entirely different because you sacrificed your life for those people who you may have never met but still you decided to give your life for them in another update according to reliable sources France is trying hard to seal the deal for the joint development of six SSN submarines for the Indian Navy beating US UK and Russia India's cabinet committee on security is likely to approve the SSN submarine project if everything goes well then France is likely to be front runner to win the deal over the US UK and Russia for the joint development of six submarines for the Indian Navy Prime Minister Narendra Modi was scheduled to visit the France SSN base at Toulouse and French SSBN base at Brest submarines are important for the sea denial strategy of the Indian Navy It is said that if Beijing prepares the Gwadar port in Balochistan under CPEC project to have an alternative route to mainland China because it thinks Indian submarine fleet would impose huge damage on Chinese ships going through the Malacca Strait submarines are also integral on the sea based nuclear deterrence that ensures the survivability of nuclear weapons 
giving strength to the country, assured striking capability on its adversaries. India's submarine fleet is very small, one SSBN INS Arihant, one SSN INS Chakra 2 and 14 diesel electric attack submarines. SSBN INS Arighat is likely to commission this year. India signed a 3 billion contract in 2019 with Russia for the lease of INS Chakra 3, which will be inducted by 2025. So India needs more SSNs, which is awaiting for the final nod on the joint production of six SSNs on the priority basis, which costs around 15,000 crore each. The emphasis on nuclear-powered submarines is that they operate at high speed for long periods of time with unlimited range. Next update. US recognized India as an important part of the conversation of the future of Afghanistan. External Affairs Minister S. Jai Shankar said the situation in Afghanistan was highlighted during the conversation with Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, Secretary of State Antony Blinken and National Security Advisor Jack Sullivan. U.S. President Joe Biden in April declared that all American troops will be taken back from Afghanistan by 11th September this year to end the country's longest war running for two decades. In an interaction with a group of Indian reporters, Jai Shankar said that Afghanistan came up in all of these meetings. Next update, a MiG-21 fighter jet of the Libyan Air Force crashed on Saturday during a military parade in Benghazi and a pilot was killed in the accident. Libyan National Army spokesperson Khalifa al obaidi expressed grief over the death of Jamal ibn Amer. An Indian Air Force MiG-21 jet also crashed in Punjab during routine training sortie killing an IF pilot earlier this month. Next update, according to Eurasian Times, the Israel Defense Forces said it fought the world's first war of artificial intelligence and supercomputing earlier this month. It also said Israel depended heavily on machine learning and data gathering for a period of over two years. During the two-week-long war between Hamas and Israel, the Israeli Air Force targeted pinpoint airstrikes against Hamas deep inside Gaza and killed hundreds of terrorists and top operatives of the terrorist groups. Most of the Hamas and Islamic Jihad's building and other installations in Gaza Strip was destroyed in Israeli airstrikes previously identified through military intelligence. Israeli Defense Force said an advanced artificial intelligence technological platform was formed to consolidate all data on Hamas and other terrorist groups in Gaza Strip onto one system. Israel has heavily invested in artificial intelligence and its applications in the military, especially on machine learning and algorithm-driven warfare development for years to apply the artificial intelligence effectively in a war, the system must be loaded with tons of raw data collected through satellites, aerial reconnaissance vehicles, field agents, and ground intelligence and years of information. Israeli Defense Force has been working on signal intelligence, visual intelligence, human intelligence, geographical intelligence to consolidate data into its supercomputers to guide the military. Israeli Defense Forces elite intelligence officers in Unit 8200 who pioneered algorithms and code to create advanced programs named Alchemist, Gospel and Depth of Wisdom which were developed and used during the fighting. The officers in the military intelligence wing took help of Gospel to identify quality targets and pass them to the Air Force to strike. The Israeli Army's J6 C4I Directorate's LOTEM unit developed software for powerful artificial intelligence and use machine learning in real-life applications same as Google. Israeli Defense Force Unit 9900 satellites play crucial role in gathering intelligence and identifying the target rocket launchers, rocket manufacturing places, production and storage sites, military intelligence offices, drones, commanders' residences, and other crucial installations. This artificial intelligence 
help shorten the length of the fighting. That's it for today. If you like our work, then please hit the like button, share this video, and do subscribe this channel to get the notification of the next video. Thank you.